Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP 15, 15 FC 40s. To see the internals of this laptop, you have to undo just four captive Phillips head screws. Pry the back with a thin plastic tool. Then, use a lever tool to lift the two zones behind the hinge cover close to the top edges. Now, you can pry the corners. Pop the sides and the front. This notebook has a 41 watt hour battery. Its connector is built into the unit. First, wear gloves to avoid short circuits and undo the five Phillips heads that secure the battery to the base. Then, untangle the speaker cable from the bottom clips. Now, you can lift the battery away from the base. The capacity is enough for around six hours and a half of video playback. Our test was conducted with the Energy Saver preset activated in the Windows, Power and Battery menu. The Wi-Fi 6 card is replaceable and it's positioned below the fan. As you can see, the RAM of our laptop is soldered. This applies to all laptops with AMD Ryzen 7520U, 7320U, and 7220U, which can be ordered with up to 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5, 5,500 megahertz memory in single channel mode. The iterations equipped with AMD Ryzen 7730U and 7530U have a pair of SODIMs. According to HP, the two slots fit up to 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3,200 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 64 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. For storage upgrades, there is just one M.2 slot for 2280 Gen 3 SSDs. In our case, the transfer speed is even halved. On the bright side, the SSD is additionally cooled by a thermal pad from below. The thermal system seems basic with its single fan, one heat pipe, a top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader. 